hydrated, fresh looking look this week. Yep, <laughs> that was a tangent. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I had so much fun with my makeup this week. Like I was so enjoying springy kind of makeup, just cute makeup, just fun stuff. So I've got some really fun things to share with you. Kind of loving this sort of look here, just like bright fun cheeks, a really glossy hydrated lip, kind of like pinky eyes, just fun, springy, bright, cute makeup. So let's get to it. For eyes this week, a ColourPop palette. This one right here, this is the Blush Crush palette. Here is the outside box on it. This is what the actual palette looks like. And here is the inside. So just a really beautiful, like peachy, pink, and glowy palette. Actually the standout for me, which when I first got the palette, really didn't draw me in, but my favorite has been this one right here, which is Made You Blush. And that's kind of what I have all over my lid and into my crease. That's really kind of creating that bright pink pop. It is really beautiful. And then I have this over most of my lid, this on the inner part of my lid, this on the inner corner of my eyes, that little pop there. And then I have kind of like a collection of these two in my outer corner and I have the peachy shade in my crease and I can't show you that because I'm out of fingers but this is such a beautiful palette I mean that one shade is so gorgeous the one that I put in my crease and that one works really well as a blush too you know what let me just try to swatch that peachy shade that I have in my crease just real quick yeah there we go Okay, so that's the peachy one I have in my crease. This is the one that I have all over my lid. That kind of bright pop. Have this over most of my lid. This kind of on the inner like third. This on the inner corners of my eyes. And then this for outer corner. So I was really kind of feeling like bright, pop of pink, not super sultry or dark. Um, not like a really intense liner, but just kind of a bronzy liner. So I still use the Rimmel Scandalize. Um, but yeah, I mean, that one right there, stand out, so beautiful. It's overall kind of like a matte satin, but it does have shimmer in it, but it's still really pretty. Now, if you use this as a blush, I mean, just know it has shimmer in it, so you're gonna have shimmer on your cheeks. I don't have it on today, but I did wear it that way, and I thought it was really pretty, but I did have glitter on my cheeks. So I'm fine with that, but just an FYI, it is such a beautiful, fun palette. I love it. I mean, this one right here, I don't even want to waste it because it's so pretty. But what I have on the inner corners of my eyes, it's beautiful. It's really pretty as a cheek highlighter too. For cheeks this week, still loving this. I did mention this in my February favorites, but I'm still loving it. I think it's so dang cute. This is the Too Faced Sun Puppy Bronze. They sent this to me, so sweet of them. This is what the outside box looks like. And then this is the actual bronzer. I mean, it just makes me smile. It is precious and then the inside is so cute. So this is the bronzer that I have on today kind of as my contour. It's kind of hard to like fully get in a swatch, but it's a, I would say kind of like soft, um, meaning not super intense, just kind of a soft, subtle, warm, glowy bronzer. So there it is right there. Really pretty. So it kind of gives us like sun-kissed look on the face. It blends really well. It's very, very pretty. So honestly, I mean, depending on the kind of makeup look you go with, I think you could just use this by itself, kind of as a blush bronzer sort of situation, but just that really like glowy, warm cheek look. It is so pretty. And again, I mean, just looking at it makes me smile. In one of my new at the drugstore videos, I chatted about a couple of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blushes. I purchased two, but then they so sweetly sent me a big box with like all their Clean Fresh line. So I got to try the other colors. I actually, I don't think I've tried the fourth one yet. But anyway, I pulled this one out this week and I love it. I'm so thankful they sent this to me because I hadn't like been drawn to this color when I'd initially looked at these online, but I don't know y'all, it might be my favorite of the ones that I've tried out so far. I haven't tried the fourth one yet, I don't think. But this is the Clean Fresh Cream Blush in 350 Flush. 
it's intensely pigmented. Now, now that's the reason I didn't initially kind of like draw in towards this one, but oh my goodness, I love it. Now I used it sparingly. I do have kind of a blush topper highlighter on as well that I'll chat about with you guys in a second, but I used it very, very sparingly on my cheeks and you can see how intense it still is. Of course, I'm pretty fair, so it's gonna be intense on me, but wow. It is so much fun. Okay, so that's like full on. Let me try to get just like the tiniest little bit here so you can see. I mean, it's a great formula. So it shears out really well. And then you can just like get this like corally pop on your cheeks. It is so springy and beautiful. And it has this glow to it. So it's, it's kind of like, uh, sort of like NARS Orgasm but less metallic-y and more just a, a beautiful light catching glow. It is so flattering on the cheeks, so fun for spring. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's gotta be my favorite of the ones I've tried so far. Yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely love it. So yes, flushed, awesome formula and just a beautiful shade. So funny that I just talked about Benefit Sugar Balm. I think it was last Friday. Um, because I think they redid the color of it because I was swatching it at Sephora the other day and it looks like it's changed and Dallas looks like it's changed, which I thought they discontinued Dallas. So I'm glad to know that they still have it, but it seems different. So anyway, they came out with those, but then also they have a new color, which technically those are labeled as new shades because I think they kind of changed the color, but this is another new shade and this is like legit. I don't think they've ever had this one before that I can remember. This is Georgia, Georgia. So they came out with the full size and they also came out with the minis, which I love so much because still gonna have this forever. It's less expensive, it's cute and little, it's perfect for travel, absolutely love it. And I think the full size is four grams for $30 and this is the mini, no wait, the big size is eight grams for $30. Did I say that? Eight grams. I don't know what I said, but eight grams for, I think $30. This is four grams for, I think $17. So the other one's a little bit better of a, a deal as far as like, you know, cost per ounce or whatnot. But I mean, still, like I said, you're going to have this for a long time. So here it is. So when I first like heard this, um, heard about this, I thought it was going to be more of a matte peach. Just like, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be as glowy as it is. So I have this on my cheekbones and it's right there. You can see it's a very golden peachy, I would say overall kind of blush topper. It's labeled as a blush. Let me double check. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's labeled as, yes, golden peach blush. So labeled as a blush, but it is very light and very glowy. It honestly kind of reminds me of the way Sugar Bomb was, really, except it's a little bit, Sugar Bomb has more kind of, um, I would say, mauve-y um, undertones to the peach, whereas this is more of just that bright, light, golden peach. Very warm, if you can see it there. So it's very, very glowy. So. You could totally use it as just a regular blush, and I did wear it that way um, a couple times this week. But I kind of like it paired with something a little bit deeper to kind of give a little bit more dimension to the cheeks. But if you're just going for like a really light flush of color and you just want a lot of glow, a lot of warm glow on your cheeks, you could totally wear it that way. It's so pretty, really love it. I love the Benefit Blush formula. I think it's very blendable, easy to work with. I think their packaging is super cute. I don't find this difficult to get a brush down into. I mean, as long as you're not using a huge blush brush, then I think it's, you know, fairly easy to get into and get the product out of depending on what kind of blush brush you use. But the blush brushes I use, I have all different ones. I typically gravitate towards smaller ones. I don't have a problem. That was a tangent. And then for lips this week, I was just loving a super glossy, really hydrated, fresh looking look this week. Yep. <laughs> so these are the two things that I was loving. I really like them together, but I think they're beautiful individually as well. So first off, this is the NARS, I think these are called the Afterglow Lip Balms, and this is in the shade 
Dolce Vita. So I do have this on. I have both of them on. So I will swatch them individually so you can see them individually. This is such a throw it in your purse sort of lip product that is beautiful. So hydrating, very fresh, not overdone. I mean, still gives color to your lips, but also great hydration, but just is not going to be that super defined, um, made up sort of look. It's just gonna have that very fresh, easy sort of look. It is hydrating and comfortable. I love this color. It's kind of a, let's say a mid-tone pinky mauve sort of a shade. Really, really great. No discernible scent to it. No, I really got a sniff. I don't think it's supposed to have a scent. Oh man, it would be very subtle if it has anything. So yeah, it's great. I started to put that down. The packaging is really pretty too. Wanted to mention that. The packaging is really, really beautiful on it. And it's a kind of twist up, sort of a balm kind of um, applicator situation. So really beautiful packaging. Okay, the other thing, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil. Again, I wouldn't have tried this if they hadn't have sent it to me. So I'm very thankful that CoverGirl sent me that package. So this is the Tinted Lip Oil, and this is in the shade Fresh Squeezed. I am in love with this. Absolutely in love with this. If you like lip oils, um, and really honestly, if you just like glossy lips, I think you will really enjoy this. And this color is so beautiful. It's this like, watermelony, raspberry-esque sort of a, a color. So beautiful, so very fresh, just kind of like a pop of color. But once again, it's not super like opaque or defined. So it's just gonna have that very glossy, hydrated look on the lips. It is very hydrating. It really feels good on the lips. Feels like a lip oil. So it definitely has that slick sort of feeling on the lips. By the way, this one does not feel tacky to it very comfortable feeling. Um, so yeah, that one, this one's more of that lip oil feeling on the lips. So beautiful individually, really pretty together. I love them both. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.